Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, I don't know if you were able to watch the video I did this morning, this morning, quite late in the afternoon, this morning I was busy with something and while reading, I really wanted to be sure that I was not saying strange things, so what I did, I read the first time the interview, I read it a second time, then I printed out on some papers, I was highlighting all the important things, actually everything was important, and then I made a video of over 30 minutes, but it was really too long, too long, too long, so I had to edit it with cutting some parts that were absolutely not necessary, am I happy about the flow of the video, not that much, but the things are said there are really interesting, we will speak about that today, about about Maurizio Arrivabene's three-page interview in Tutto Sport that are super important. Why? Because they are speaking about Juventus present future on the field of the field. We have some ideas about Paolo Dybala, Matthias De Ligt, Paul Pogba also the strategy they also spoke about some supporters not only the supporters in the stadium we know it, there is a problem there, but also the supporter out of the stadium and the way of supporting. Shocking words, big words, I really want to clarify everything, so what we will do today is you ask the questions about what he said and we go through the interview and I will really explain you and translate you from Italian to English and also explaining you if you have some doubts about you think it's correct or not correct. So that's what we will do together today. Let's start first, as usual, to say hello to everyone in the chat, because I already see that Arriva Bene is crazy. Guys, today, before speaking about all of that, let me first say hello to the people, huh? that's important, that's the most important. The first like from Styler Z, we have Bogdan, Steve Cano, I like the new Juve way, Forza Juve, Forza R management, but please hurry up, uh, around the table talk, eh, he saw the video, Steve, but uh, around the table talk already already gone they already know they already have the strategy so these talks from around the table because tv watched the video i already explained it a bit it's okay now it's closing the deals that's something else why we don't know but don't forget in 44 minutes mercato officially starts ciao jacob ciao marian ciao stavros e aqua always there acid marco meola ciao marco alim uh, or Ali, ciao Peter, ciao Anthony Trimboli, Jacob, Thomas, Makluf is there, Anthony Trimboli again, <laughs> ciao Last Samurai, I'm happy, he's saying Don Arriva Ben, I'm happy to see Last Samurai again, Marvin, Sam Makluf, Mike Mazzares, ciao Beppe and everyone, I was very excited for the 22-23 season and I have a very good feeling in this new direction that Juventus is going in, Forza Juve, uh, Ali saying Beppe, it's it's late for three minutes, it means that we sign Kostic, wait, wait, calma, 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 Kostic, wait, wait, ciao Wasi, ciao King ADP, Beppe not on time, uh, you would be fired straight away in Germany, eh, I know, I am always late, I'm always late, guys, it's normal, we set uh, 11 p.m. in uh, Europe and then we come at 11, 2, 11, 3. Speaking about that, before going into the interview so that some people are joining the live as well, you know that... Uh, I have always been educated and learned by my mother to be on time. She said you have to be on time and you have actually to be there at least five minutes up front that you start your meeting or that you have, I don't know, uh, a meeting with a girlfriend, a date or whatever, five minutes up front because you have to be polite. That's how I was uh, raised up. But then I started to work with a lot of Italian people and uh, I was always stressed because I said, you know, guy, we have a meeting at two o'clock. So it's already like, uh, you know, five to two. So it's time to go. And my boss, he was Italian and so on, he said, wait, 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 let's go first to the coffee machine, let's take a coffee together, and then we go. And we already always arrived at uh, five, uh, five past two, it was like that. So I learned the bad habits of my boss to start every time three, four, five minutes late. Hey guys, you're supporting an Italian team, so you have to be uh, used to the five minutes, uh, give me five minutes, five minutes to take a coffee, to take these kind of things, otherwise we can't start. Mmm. Mm. Gabriel Vivar is well as well. Bobby, ciao Bobby, ciao to everyone. 
Uh, ciao to everyone. Let's start. Let's start with uh, today. We go full, full, huh? full, full, boom, boom, because we have a lot of things to do. But first of all, first of all, let me let me introduce you uh, a, a topic, a topic of today, because we are the 30th of June. So we know that a lot of people from Juventus, they stopped their contract. Uh, people in the media, there was a beautiful message from Paolo Rossi, for example, historical guy at Juventus, 16 years at Juve, that was covering also the historical part of Juve. He wrote a lot of amazing articles about Roberto Baggio, about Del Piero. Sometimes when you see, for example, 10 ways to love Del Piero, 10 ways why you should love uh, Vialli and so on, he wrote all these things and I really want to wish him the best. That's one thing. And then then also a lot of other players were said goodbye to today. We started uh, in the Italian account of Twitter with Paolo Dybala. Thank you. It was a thanks Paolo. It followed by thanks Alvaro and also thanks uh, Federico Bernardeschi. The three of them are not Juve players anymore. It is over. Thank you, Pavel. Pavel that just subscribed and became a member of the channel. Grande Pavel. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Un ultra bianconero, the ultras that are really, really pissed off with Arriva Bene because they wrote a message. So guys, I don't know if you heard about the song because today I was a bit, I was a bit sad. I was a bit sad. Look at that. I received this from... Massimo Lesti. Massimo Lesti is a subscriber of the channel, is a member of the channel. And Massimo he said, you know what, Beppe, I want to send you something. A gift for you. A gift for you. It's the Mercato is crazy, but in another way, another version, piano version, slow version, sad version. And uh, I received it. I loved it immediately, probably even more than the original one, but it's really a sad one. And it sounds like that. Listen, it's one minute, guys. Let's uh, think about Bernardeschi, Dybala, Paolo Dybala, Alvaro Morata, but also Chiellini, Kulusevski and uh, Bentancur. That's how it sounds. He's there in the chat, Massimo Lesti. Mercato is crazy tonight. La 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 la. Eh, applause for that guy, for Massimo Lesti. What a beautiful version. I hope I will never hear that song again because I was crying today. Paolo Di Bala, Giorgio Chiellini, Bernardeschi, Alvaro Morata. Some people were telling me, Beppe, burn the shirt. Burn the shirt. Why, you know how many money I have in the... There in the in the box, I have a hundred uh, shirts. Hey, I will not uh, burn any single shirt. No, because for me, they are part of my collection. They are also part of history of Juventus forever. So I will never throw away a shirt. Don't forget that. That's super important. Now we start. Andiamo, ragazzi. Because in how much? In 40... In 48 minutes, we start with the real Mercato is crazy. The nice version. That one. Woohoo! Because we will sign some players now. Let me start now, guys. Uh, AG is there. I'm crying right now because of the song. I hope you love this one better than the other one. Very poignant. Poignant. It's taking. Taking the heart. It's correct. It's correct. So now we said goodbye. I don't want to hear anymore about Paolo Dybala, Alvaro Morata. Pay attention. Alvaro Morata, you never know. Eh? Pa uh, Alvaro Morata, he goes away and sometimes he comes back. Okay. Okay. Andiamo. 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 What do we start with? The words of uh, Arriva Bene. We have to start. At a certain moment, we have to start. So they opened the papers today with... Uh, let me open it so I can show you. They opened the papers today with a big page with Arriva Bene. Look at that. Digital version. He's there. Uh, sunglasses. Arriva Bene. Italian style. Look at him. Uh, and then you have Delicht. 
spoke by Massimiliano Allegri. We already spoke about that yesterday before closing the live. And he said, Juve totale, a total Juve. Uh, una squadra vincente per un marchio globale. A winning team for a global brand. It's really important to understand the two words. Yesterday... It was a bit reported, today I read the article multiple times, a winning team for a global brand. Winning team is on the field because you can't split it, but also a global brand because you can't split it also. They have to stick together. If you want to succeed in sporting part on the field, you, have to, you need to have a really strong and solid business model hey guys it is a business model you can do whatever you want you can like it or you can't like it but if you want to succeed you need entries you need cash flow you need to be strong you need to have also appeal super important but it's also the reverse part if you have a really solid team and great and so on and so on but you are never winning you finish like a bit the arsenal of premier league you are never winning you are always going in europa league and it's also not beautiful for your image so because then you become a joke then you are the arsenal and uh, the arsenal of europe and this is not okay both things are super important first page a winning team for a global brand mamma mia i love that i love the sentence then of course you have to translate it in reality because i can also put some slogan uh beppe uh, a bald man for a successful uh, successful channel it's beautiful but it means nothing if you are not able to continue to shave your hair because then you are not bald anymore it is what it is guys it is what it is manchester united yeah manchester united as well they made a lot of mistakes huh? a lot of mistakes it was a big club with a lot of history they are in a limbo that is really difficult. Ciao to uh, Rocco to Glory! Rocco to Glory, Massimo Leste again. We sing Grazie a tutti. We hope for more of the happy one than the sad version. I agree. Uh, the women are also dominating the league. The message of Peter, really important. He said something at the end of the three page, that was the last part, when he said that he is, his dream that is that one day we will speak about Juventus not anymore Juventus women Juventus under 23 Juventus first team he wants that every single team is Juventus of course the names will remain to change and then to be sure that you're speaking about the right team of course but it's the philosophy behind that the importance how we are treating all of them are really important and we are not saying ah but it's only the under 23 ah but it's only the women no we need to split the efforts on the tree let me check let me check because i start receiving some messages here uh we change the life we change the life guys Sometimes there are priorities. Arriva bene and the plans of Juventus is great. It's great. But what is greater? What is greater than Arriva bene and the beautiful plans? My friends, my friends, my friends, are you ready? Are you ready? There is a breaking news. Thank you to Sebastiano that just tagged me. Mamma mia, put the suspense music. <laughs> I told you, I told you, grazie. Arriva bene, mon ami, mon ami, arriva bene. My friend, my friend. It's not Mo, it's not Mo. But Mo can be also, uh, uh, one day will join again. Wait, 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 wait. Attenzione, attenzione, attenzione. Para, pa, pa. Woo! There is a player. There is a player. I will show you that will travel to Italy. When will he travel to Italy? He will travel to Italy in the next few hours. Some people told me, Beppe. Andiamo. We need some signing now. We waited one month on your channel. We put the maximum of life. We were happy. We danced with the music. But now it's time to sign. It's time to announce. We said goodbye to Paolo, to Federico. We said goodbye to Alvaro Morata.
the player that will travel to Italy in the next few hours and sign a contract as a Juventus player is... Angel Di Maria! Thank you! Angel Di Maria, Italian football news, pay attention, follow that account because soon there will be something with that account. Italian football news, Angel Di Maria will travel to Italy in the next few hours and will sign as a new Juventus player. I see that you are putting a maximum of words. I want a maximum of emotes. All the people. Can we put some Cherubini? The people that are a member of the chat. Maximum of Cherubini. Cherubini, 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 Cherubini. Smart guy. Thank you. Smart guy. Thank you. Grande Cherubini. Ah, and die. And we start with the first one. And we sign. And we sign. Hey. We can say it. Here we fly. Let me retweet it. Let me retweet it with a hashtag. Here we fly. Let's go. Hey, I love that. Alejandro Paredes as well. He's laughing. He's happy. Jay Tarik with the Cherubini. Mike Mazzarese with the Cherubini. Massimo Leste. We have Ahmad that is participating as well. Anthony Schifano, Maric, Marvin, mamma mia. Jacob Farugia, mamma mia. Cecilia, ciao Cecilia. Carubini, carubini, carubini. We are happy. Guys, we will speak about Arriva Bene. We'll speak about this guy because that was why we have the life. Okay, okay. Can we be happy? Are we happy with Angel Di Maria joining Juventus? I always told you, look at that. Look, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's attractive. He's sexy man. Beautiful. He's big. He's huge. He's a muscular player. I love him. What a technique. He's not skinny anymore, even. He's not skinny anymore. Look at that. He took some weight. He's great. He's prepared. Mamma mia, you can't imagine, you can't imagine the Rabona that we will see at the Juventus Stadium. By the way, first game is on the 15th of August, 8.45, first game of Juventus. So we will play the last game of the first game day. They will start with, I don't remember who, who cares? And then uh, we finish, I think it's Milan. Milan that start on the 13th, then you have a lot of games on the 14th, and we play the last on the 15th. 15th, that is a holiday, eh? holiday in Italy and in a lot of parts of the world. So it is what it is. Uh, Alejandro, you already can't wait for Pogba. You already can't wait. Mamma mia, we're the first. Imagine, Angel Di Maria will travel to Italy in the next few hours. What are few hours? We don't know. Because if we are speaking... If we, <laughs> I was watching the, the message of Aldo, the ears will help to fly, eh, eh, probably. If we are speaking about the next few hours, you remember when we were speaking about 72 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours before the weekend and so on and so on, it can be really long. As Sebastiano Juve is saying the next 48 hours, the next few hours, come on, Gaston Edu, I don't know who you are, uh, my friend, you know what, I will follow you, just because you announced that, I love that, here, here, you have my follow, because you announced me the first player of 22-23, Gaston, what is Howers, can you, can you, maybe we have to write him, Let, let's write him, can you specify Howers, uh, viajar en las próximas horas, in, in Spanish, eh? puedes, Precisar horas, porfa. And then a smiley, here, the one that I like. I, I like this one. Uh, here, here we go. So we have, maybe we have an answer. Maybe we will have an answer. Uh, Colo, release the Di Maria video. The Di Maria video is already online. Huh? It's already online uh, on Colo's channel. Mm. Puedes precisar horas eh. let's see let's see let's see mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia okay di maria is the first one Ma, i already imagine going on the right side rabona and vlaovic, vlaovic with the header 
this is what I needed. After the, the sad song of today, I needed a bit of a, a fantasy in my life. Already cooking, we are already cooking. Pulpo con fideos. Eh, Jose, puedes explicar qué es fideos? Que no lo sé. ¿Qué es fideos? I'm asking to Jose to explain us what is the word fideos. I have no idea. Great news for Mike. It is a great news. What is fideos? Pulpo we know. Eh? Pulpo is the octopus. Paul Pogba. But what is fideos? I don't know. Is it pasta? Looks like pasta. Ah, spaghetti. And why do we call... Ah. I didn't know that. I didn't know. So we are, so actually the guy is called Spaghetti. But of course he will come to Juve. Who was saying that he would go to Barcelona? In Barcelona you don't eat spaghetti. It's going of course it's going to Italy. It all makes sense. It's noodle, the noodle soup. Eh, of course he will go to Italy. The noodles, the spaghetti. <laughs> Everyone is telling me Beppe it's spaghetti. The number 11. Eh, pay attention Alexander, pay attention number 11. Thank you for your donation Alan. Alan who's saying Beppe. Now we can dream big unlike the previous seasons. It's true that last season, and it's also written here. Eh? It's also written here in the Bible that I have, the three pages. Guys, I really recommend you take the one, print it, put it next to you because you will need it for the future of Juventus. But, 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 it's true that last season we were not able. We were not able. Locatelli, how many meetings? with uh, uh, Arriva, uh, Cherubini, Cherubini and uh, Carnevali. How many meetings to sign one? Then we took uh, Caio Giorgi, a beautiful name, but a uh, young, young promise. And unfortunately, he was also injured. So only Arriva Bene, um, only Locatelli. And then last minute, Moiskin was not enough. If you are losing Cristiano Ronaldo, if you have a Dybala that is mentally already not there, it's a problem. Eh? It's already a problem. So... Il spaghetti! Il spaghetti sta arrivando. I love that. We needed that big boost. Of course, this is nice. It's always nice. Uh, Aldo, he's skinny. So they call him Il, fi Il Fideo. Because uh, he looks like a noodle. Yeah, but today I learned, you know, I, di I didn't want to go into the details of why. Il spaghetti. Il spaghetti. Guys, I love that. I love that. Guys. Tomorrow I will do a thumbnail with only spaghetti. It's only for the people who know they will remember. They will remember. Grande Allen, thank you for your donation. Okay, okay, let me know in the chat. Do we continue to dream about El Fideo? Or do we start speaking about this? Because we are already 23 minutes in the live and there is a lot of things to explain. What do we start? What do we speak about? El Fideo, spaghetti or uh, uh, Arriva Bene? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know. It's noodle. Noodle spaghetti is the same. It's the same. I know. Pay attention. Don't say that uh, to an Italian person. Eh? It's not the same, but we will say that it's the same. Uh, maximum of like for everyone. Arriva bene. No fido. Angel Spaghettino. That's a beautiful name. Un spaghetto. Ciao Sisman. I will have spaghetti in my lunch. Do that. <laughs> Ciao Omar Tarico. Thank you, David, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And he's saying... Ale, 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 oh. I just remember everyone saying that Arriva Bene couldn't handle the Ferrari. I asked for time. He reminds me of Moji time. And how we do business. Look, I really appreciated something super important of the article. At a certain moment, he says, I know. I know what people are saying about me. There is a rumor that I have no idea about football, that I'm not born in football in terms of being a player, being a coach, being a football manager, being a whatever. He said, there's that rumor around. And he said, I will, I will break the myth. I will tell you the truth. I will be honest. He said, it's true. I have no knowledge. I have no knowledge. Absolutely no. When we are watching games with Pavel Nedved, 
I sit next to him and he's explaining me a lot of things that I have never thought about. He explained me of movements. He explained me about how they train to do that and that they're explaining a lot of details when he's together with Ned, but probably not in the way that we are speaking now because you know you already saw the images of Pavel Nedved most of the time is speaking a lot with a lot of gestures Pavel Nedved that became quite Italian I said it last time in an interview I'm living more or I lived more in Italy than in my country, Czech Republic. So he became a real Italian Nedved when speaking with, with the anger, the passion that we know from uh, La Furia Ceca. And uh, there was something that I really loved. And that's to come back to the comment of David. And thank you again for your donation, David. Who's saying, at a certain moment, I don't know. But there is one thing I know. It's how to arrive from point A to point B. I am here not to do the mercato, I am not here to do this or that, but I am in charge of working on a strategy and implement that strategy through people and making sure that the strategy is implemented well and that we see the results. My job is to challenge people. Of course, when we are speaking about mercato, sometimes I have an idea. And I go into the room, into the office of Arriva Be of Cherubini, and I tell him I have that idea. And then they are looking like that. It's not possible. It's crazy. Crazy idea. The idea, there are no crazy ideas. It's idea. Then they start working on it. Is it feasible? Is it not feasible? Possible? Not possible? And they are thinking about that. Pay attention. Pay attention because for the first time ever on the channel, something happened. Something happened on the channel that I didn't know it even exist. I didn't even know it existed. Something happened and I can't even point it out, but there are five people that became member on the channel in the same moment, thanks to one person, thanks to Rad. Rad Al-Harbi, I hope I pronounce it well, that my Arabic starts also to grow. Rad Al-Harbi, that just offered five memberships on the channel. Two. Roberto Gallo, to At64, to J4 Forever, to Joe Rios, and to Berfoni. Berfoni is already in the chat. He was there, he's active, and he noticed it. And he's, I hope, Berfoni, that you will say thank you to Rad Al Harbi that just offered you five membership. Mamma mia, grande Rad. I never, never experienced that. I didn't even know it existed. I didn't know. Thank you. Non ultra bianco nero e eh, thank you Rad, thank you Rad, thank you, really, really, really appreciate it, really appreciate it. Eh, yeah, you know, some people that are always there, they don't know how to do, they, they, they don't have the money to do it sometimes, uh, eh, they deserve, thank you, really, I, I'm really, really happy to see that. I don't know how to do, is it possible to do it? Let me check, I, do, I don't even know how it works, let me check, let, wait, 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 let's, let's try, let's try. I don't know how it works. So, okay, I go to the video. I go into the description. Where is it? And now, wait. Description of the video. Binks, we are here. Let's see. I don't know how it works. Boo. Rad, you will need to explain me because I would love to offer also some uh, some memberships, but I don't know how to do. I'm checking if it's possible or not. I will check another time. I need to go uh, and to understand that one. I don't know how we did. Thank you. I don't know. Great. Great one. Great one. So... I don't know what we were speaking about. About, about Arriva Bene. He said, we are going into the office. We open the door. We open the door. And then we start speaking about an idea. But his role at Juventus is the strategy. What is the strategy? There are two strategies. We already spoke about it in the beginning, in the title. You remember, we said one is... Um, the sporting part, a winning sporting part. The second one is 
growing with the brand, being a global brand. So what is the sporting part? Is results on the field. What do you need for having results on the field? Good players, of course. You need a good coach. You need good ways of training. You need great installments. You need these facilities and so on and so on so that they can perform the best. And that's one side. Cherubini is on top of the sporting side. And then you have the other ones. You have a Pavel Nedved that is also in contact, di in direct contact. You have Allegri that is taking care. Then you have all the other services. And that is one to perform on the field. But then you have the global brand. What is the global brand? It's making sure that you are growing in different areas like apparel, the clothes, the clothes of Juventus, the shirts, the deals with Adidas, you have branding, like with Jeep, what they are doing, you have Psy Games on the back of the shirts, we are going back on FIFA, now that's also really important, we had a deal with Konami for three years, we are going back to FIFA, FIFA 23, but you also have all the other entertainment part, more and more, because of course, in your life you love football but sometimes you also love these movies with cooking channels you love this you love that so you have a lot of different interests and Juventus together with Arriva Bene they want to explore that you remember they opened the Twitch channel for Juventus where for the first time and pay attention because it looks normal but for the first time they were in direct contact with their fans a voice uh, casuality I am the person they chose because I won a contest and I'm super proud to be that that person let's see if tomorrow we will extend my contract or not I'm really curious uh, but I'm super happy about that but they started and they want to invest even more with videos you have YouTube you have TikTok. pay attention to TikTok that is growing more and more you have twitch where they want to also go towards maybe maybe some gaming some watch along some football talks, some cost contests with quiz, with shirts. So this is what Juventus will do in the Italian territory, but especially globally, around the world. Yesterday, for the people that are speaking Arabic on the channel, and then I will read some of your comments. Look, I don't know how I found the option. I clicked anything for Beppe Effort. Thank you, Rad. Yesterday, for the people that are speaking Arabic, I entered a space that was organized and they had Luciano Moggi. There were over 1,000 people in that, uh, in that space on Twitter listening to the words of Luciano Moggi in Italian that were translated. And, you know, I was thinking to myself when I opened the channel in English, could I have done it in Italian? Of course, would have been easier for me. It's not even my language, English. I make a lot of mistakes it's difficult i have to translate but it remembered me why i did it i did it because we are so many million juventini around the world today three person told me beppe we just discovered your channel we didn't know about the channel we were looking for some juve con content on youtube but we didn't we didn't know we just found your channel they were extremely happy in you if you're looking in the last video you will see that i'm not lying <laughs> And that's what Juventus want to do, to reach more and more internationally the people. We are doing tour in America now. Uh, we did it already in other parts of the country. So super, really, really, really great strategy of Juve in two parts. And that's the first thing I want to say about the comment. And then going back to something else, because in the comment it was like, I feel the mudgy way of dealing. There is one thing that Arriva Bene really can do, because... Guido Vasiago, the journalist, the director of Tutto Sport, he asked me, do you know that some people are calling you the Manzukic of the management? Iron Man Maurizio. Do you know that? By the way, I believe that that's a really, really beautiful one. Huh? Uh, that's a really beautiful name for our friend Arriva Bene to be called the Manzukic of management. No good. Dybala, he came. He said, hey, hey, hey. Tengo, tengo el papel para firmar, para firmar. And he said, no good. No good. He took the paper away and Dybala, he went away. No contract at the moment. Guys, it is what it is. This is the truth. 
No good man, Manzukic man. I think it's a really beautiful one. He knows where to go from A to B. Direct, honest, man of not a lot of words, but when he's speaking, he's doing it really well. So we will continue speaking about that. Huh? It's not over because there are three pages to speak about. And uh, I count on you guys when you see some new guys that needs to fly from one country to another. Please tell me. Allen, he did something really special because he did a double donation. One and two times with the same message. He said, Beppe, you deserve the best. I hope you get that extension. Uh, of course, I already know. I already know. I can't reveal it. We will reveal in the next few days, yes or no? I already know. Oh. Guys, we are at Juve, they will not let me wait until the last day, so we already spoke. So let's see what we will do. I can't reveal, I can't reveal. Wait. Who knows? No. In the next few days, we will speak about it. So, uh, thank you, Alan. Thank you, really, Alan, for the donation. Uh, people are speaking about Rabona TV, my friend. Ah, that's how you discovered me. Eh, my great friend, Adrian. Top, top, top quality content. Um, ah, I don't know. Wait, is there... But, uh, it's true, eh? Oleg, uh, you know, we are not a political channel. We, I support... Really, I, will, I want to say it. I support human people uh, from everywhere in the world. I'm absolutely not a political channel. I don't speak about religion on the channel. I don't speak about orientation, whether you prefer or not. I support people that try to be happy. And I believe that you have good people everywhere. You have bad people everywhere. Arriva Beni spoke about good people, bad people ways of supporting Juve, so we will go into that, but I, I want to know from you guys if you have some questions, if you really have some questions about uh, some topics that uh, Arriva Bene talked about, you want to know about the structure, you want to know about how they work on Mercato, you want to know about uh, uh, Pogba, how they the, the, the ideas about how they brought Pogba to Juve because he spoiled it. You want to know about De Ligt? We can speak about uh, uh, what else? Uh, the financial situation. We can speak about really a lot. So I'm waiting for you and then we go through them. Uh, but meanwhile, let me read some messages. Uh, Grande Pepe, finally a pro Juve outlet. I've been searching for the channel for years. Grande, thank you, David. Really appreciate it. Ross, I think that tomorrow will be announcement of Chiesa with the number 10 and Di Maria, so we'll take the number 22. What do you think, Pepe? My prediction, prediction, huh? Prediction. Prediction is that uh, Chiesa will take the number... Wait. Di Maria will take the number 10. Pogba will take the number 8, Vlaovic will take the number 9, Zagnolo will take the number 22, I'm hesitant about Chiesa, I think that Chiesa will go with the number 7, or it's, or, and this is my doubt, Locatelli might go with the 7, with Chiesa with a special number that we don't know. Pay attention for the roulette of numbers. There is a new message that someone sent me. We need to read it. Pay attention. But there is El Noras Bruzas that just joined the channel as a member. So, un ultra bianco nero. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, El Noras. Uh, and when, when you do, let me know where you are from in the world. I really need to understand where you are from uh, the world. Uh, no, Oleg, you don't have to be sorry, Oleg. Uh, we appreciate it. Just, just like that, that we support good people on the channel and uh, humanity. Rad, thank you. Thank you for your donation. We're saying 200 likes at least. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Maximum of likes. I don't know how much we have. I didn't check. Uh, but that's beautiful. I, that's really beautiful. Let's try to reach, I told you, let's try to reach 20,000 Juventini before the start of the Mercato. A lot of things to say. Thank you for your donation, Rad. Uh, we continue because Forza Bianconeri. I love that name. I love that name. Just became a member as well. And I. So, Nulutra Bianco Nero. Thank you, Forza Bianco Nero. Pay attention, there is a new message. Someone sent me a new message from Twitter. So, we have to interrupt at the moment 
we have to interrupt at the moment the Arriva Venetals because there is a news. Ooh, ooh, pay attention. It's a small one, huh? Manchester City approach Juve for De Ligt. So it's not anymore Chelsea. Pay attention. Chelsea could be in the mud because they don't want to pay too much money. What are they proposing? Bernardo Silva. No. Wait, wait, wait. I need to check if it's a fake one or not. It's the right one. It's not a fake account. The black and white Bianconeri, they said no. We want Cancelo. Sorry, sorry, guys. Mercato is crazy. Ah, la, 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 la. Mercato is crazy. Ah, la, 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 la. Mercato is crazy tonight. Mercato is crazy Tonight, la 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 la. Mercato is crazy. Tonight, la 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 la. Guys, this is too much. This is too much. Guys, this is too much. This is too much. This is too much for me. And oh, and oh, and oh, guys. Let's not exaggerate. I said crazy. I didn't say what is more bigger than crazy. Maybe we have to do a new song. I said crazy. Cancel on the left. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Ma we don't care that he can't defend. Guys, we don't care. Who wants to defend? We have Di Maria. We score goals. We score four, five, six goals. We don't care. Mamma mia. Okay, percentages of chance that it happens. We don't care. We don't care, mamma mia. Ooh. Then people, they will clip my dance moves to the news on Cancelo. And uh, it will never arrive. We know. They will mock me. But I don't care. I'm a kid. I'm a kid. Let me read again. Because, wait, I need to realize what had just happened. Eh? Because here we have crazy stories. Manchester City. They approached Matthias De Ligt. No, they approached Juventus for the Licht. They gave us Bernardo Silva. Juventus said, No, oh, we want Cancelo. Juventus make sure that on the table we are speaking about the same level of players. We received a donation earlier with someone that said it reminds me a bit of Moji. Manchester City will not give Cancelo. I can guarantee you that. They will not give Cancelo. But what is important here? Juventus, they don't care about finished, washed player. Or player like Werner that are not able to score with their hands. Maybe he will come. So pay attention to what we are saying. But Juventus is saying... You want De Ligt. He's a top player. He's the best. He's the king. He's 22. He will become 23 in August. It's the future of the next 10 years of the defense. You want him? We are Juventus. Eh? We are Juventus. We are Juventus. We can't be in the mud. Because we want to grow on the field. We want to be a winning team, but we also want to grow the badge, the, the brand. We want to be a global brand. What do you think? That you will take the league and you will give us a, I don't know, Finnish player from uh, Chelsea. I don't know. Lukaku. Who cares about Lukaku? The king of Milan. No, we don't care. 
Give us serious. Speak serious with us. Bernardo Silva. We don't care about Bernardo Silva. Cancelo. Back. Left side. Solved. Cancelo. Danilo. Eh, eh. Nice. Then I will say in the future, Cancelo equal Danilo. And not anymore, Danilo is bigger. I will be happy. Cancelo on the left, Danilo on the right. Boom, boom, mamma mia. El Pistolero. Sandro De Jong is saying Bernardo Silva is bigger than Cancelo. No, no. We want level, level. Otherwise, we don't. Then, chances that it happens, zero. It's more... That's important. It's a, a provocation. It's to say, guys, here you are knocking at the door of La Vecchia Signora. What is La Vecchia Signora in Italian? Vecchia Signora means the old lady. How do you treat an old lady? With respect. Did you, when you are in the bus, the pullman, the bus to go to the school in the morning, packed with a lot of people, and you see an old lady, what do you do? You stand up and you give the seat because you respect an old lady. Chelsea, they disrespected us. 40 million with Werner. 40 million with Werner, guys. When I'm negotiating with Juve, my contract, I'm asking more than 40 million plus Werner. Because there's disrespect to Juve, guys. This is disrespect to Juve. 40 million plus Werner. There you go. To city that you want to play, we speak the same language. We speak the same language. Cancelo, and then we start talking. Maybe it's not even enough, Cancelo for the Licht. Probably not. Absolutely not. Cancelo and money for the Licht. It will not come, but I love. That's what we love. I love that. It's true. You are laughing, but it's true. But that, that's what we have to do. I, I said it in this morning's video. How many times did I say it in this morning? We were a team with the Holy Saint Beppe Marotta that you were all praising. Every time you come back on the channel, eh, but Beppe Marotta is the king. Eh, but Beppe Marotta is the king. Beppe Marotta, Beppe Marotta, Beppe Marotta. He was the one that was giving all the prayers for free. Vidal, he sent him for 40 million euro. 40 million euro for Vidal. Come on, he, he sold him for un pezzo di pane. Un pezzo di pane, a piece of bread. He sold, come on. Douglas Costa, Paratici, did the same. Paratici was, was the, the student, the padawan of Marotta. For free, to Brazil. First on loan, then the other one, extension, here, you wanna go, go. Manzukic, you wanna go, go. Benatia, you wanna go, go. Matuidi, you wanna go, 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 go. It was always go, 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 go. But go, go, with go, go, we don't do anything, we don't do anything with go, go. Where is the money? Show me the money. Show me the money. Go, 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 go for free. Oh. I don't remember. That we were able to sell. Yeah, okay. We sold Pogba for 100 million to Manchester United. That's true. And we take him again for free. Just saying. That, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. The only thing. Guys. Can you make a poll about uh, uh, Bernardo Silva? We can. We can. We can. Uh, but first, let me read the message of Guido because we have a lot of things to speak. Yeah, go, go, it's true. Uh, Rabio Firmino swap. I don't believe that's true. I don't believe that's true. Rabio will not go to Liverpool. I don't believe that. But uh, <coughs> Guido Gencarelli just extended for the sixth month and he's saying, uh, Ciao, Beppe. I, will, uh, I still would not change the league for Cancelo if we want, but it's Cancelo plus money, yeah? Because Cancelo is already older than the Licht and so on, so it's Cancelo plus money. What would it change? What would it solve? It will solve the fact that we will have a left back that we are asking for 120 years. And the Licht, he wants to leave anyway. It's not Juve that wants to... It's written here, I will tell you, in Italian, and I will translate for the people that don't, doesn't understand. Here, the Licht. Oh, okay. Guido is asking him, eh Guido, not Guido Gencarelli, but Guido Vassiago is asking, 
parliamo di delict tutti hanno un prezzo o ci sono incedibili he said can we speak about delict every single player they have a price or are there some players that they have no price so that means untouchable he said he said we go back to the category of player because he said a bit earlier i didn't explain yet but he said we go back to the discussion about the category of players that are listening to the explanations to the tips of their agents more than the journey of a club that explained them to them uh, so they are more listening to the agents more than to the club um, today it is impossible to keep a player that wants to leave but it's always a matter of numbers it's not and that's the big difference with the go-go mentality from the past he says here really he said it literally he says it's not that as the player wants to leave we will sit and we will say go go he said prego accomodati welcome go and do your thing no it's not go go anymore numbers the three parts have to be happy juventus the player and the other club that is interested but especially juventus otherwise we don't even talk it doesn't mean that the list will leave it doesn't mean that you the list said i want to leave pay attention he's not mentioning the name of the list he's answering about the question about players that are untouchable and he's saying about untouchable players he's saying there are no untouchable players if a player wants to leave you have to find a way but if the other ones are paying and we are going with the message that we just saw about bernardo silva cancelo in that way it's not over because guido here in the chat is continuing his message if we want to be back at quarter or semi-final of champions league we need a strong center back koulibaly would be the perfect fit maybe start to trust our youngster on other positions it's a complete and beautiful message from Guido uh, because about youngsters there was the question about what about in October Cherubini was explaining what about Agnelli after Lyon the words rejuvenation were used what about the youngsters is that a project that is over or not out of my mind guys help me eh? if there are someone that is really great in mathematics i will speak about four players out four players in chiellini is 37 and he's out 37 let me write also 37 out dibala is 28 out how old is uh, Bernardeschi? I believe he's 27, I believe. Let me check. Let, let's go and check uh, together. I believe that Bernardeschi is 27, but I'm, I can I can be wrong on that one. 26, 20, maybe even 28. So uh, let's go to Bernardeschi. Bernardeschi is 28, 28. Paolo Di Bala is 28. He is 28. So we have already three players. There is another one that left. Who's the other one that left Juve, guys? Um, ah, let's say Matthias De Ligt, that is 23 in August. So we have 37, 28, 28 and 23. Who's coming in at the moment? We are speaking about Paul Pogba, who's 29. Di Maria is 24. We are coming in, who is uh, Fagioli. Fagioli is still young. Fagioli is uh, 21. And Rovella, if I'm not wrong, Rovella is 20. Guys, you want to do the calculation really fast? We can do it. Eh? So we have calculator. Calculator. The first part is 37 plus 28 plus 28 plus 23, 116. that's divided by four it's an average of 29 if we add up who's coming in at the moment it's 29 plus 34 plus 21 plus 20 104 divided by four it's 26 
at the moment with the names that in or out the one that are the most close to one you are actually saving again three years is it enough no but that's one one part so that's one thing then ah morata i forgot eh, i forgot about morata look at that i forgot about i i counted the league but i forgot about the uh, morata because the league is not even out it's true guys i forgot about morata uh, grazie Marco, da, grazie Bunzara and Tarek that uh, told me. But now, seriously, there is in the interview, there is something really interesting because he's saying, no, we don't give up on our rejuvenation one. We don't. We keep the rejuvenation project, absolutely. But these young players, they need some examples. They need some leaders. Don't forget that in the matter of two years, we lost. Gianluigi Buffon and now we are losing Chiellini guys that's a lot in terms of Juventinita in terms of experience in terms of famous real persons we are losing them so you need a bit of char charis charismatic charismatic people in the locker room and that's why you need to add the player like El Fideo, even if it's for one year, a Paul Pogba that can become immediately one of the leaders of that young Juventus. Because if you are speaking about age, if you are looking at the average age, they are super young. I promise to do a poll. Eh? I promise to do a poll. So, poll. Uh, City de Licht. Money plus Cancelo or money plus bernardo silva guys it's choose one huh? whatever huh? anyway it will not happen but just choose for understanding who you prefer between both players bernardo silva or cancelo uh let me and the poll is live now so let me go back in some comments because you said morata morata everyone was telling me morata 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 huh? I forgot about Morata. Guys, from the moment they are not in my team anymore, I forget. No, it's not true. I'm joking. Chris, ciao Beppe. I was going to sleep and I saw you live. So I stopped to say hi. Cannot unfortunately stay. So hopefully you see that I watch your message and I'm replying. Chris, my opinion about this subject. I think Arriva Bene is the best CEO for Juve. Yeah, because I believe that everyone has a role. Uh, you can't do everything. He understood that. He's clear about it. Wait, because I received a message. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. <coughs> um, four men, Roberto. Four men. Four men. So at the moment, fifty. Ah, guys, it's a, uh, it's a big mix. Huh? I was expecting more Cancelo. At the moment, it's fifty-four Cancelo. Forty. Ah, eh, fifty-three. Look at that. Look at that. Bernardo Silva. Fifty. Forty-seven. Fifty-three. I didn't expect that. Very good poll. I really like Bernardo Silva, but we really need a fullback upgrade and Cancelo is good. Uh, Mattia De Ciglio over Cancelo. Look, you know, I will not change my narrative. I got excited at a certain moment. It will, anyway, it will not happen. But Cancelo, according to me, is a disaster in defense. We know it, huh? Disaster in defense. He can't defend, but what a player from the midfield on what a player uh, what a player top player but it's really can't defend is he the player that uh, Allegri wants I'm curious to read that thing because uh, he was with uh, Can with Cancelo he knows him really well that means that you are actually playing a, a, a kind of Pirlo way you know with a four-man defense with Cancelo going up and Danilo going a bit more to the center with a Danilo that more and more people uh more and more people are seeing Danilo as a center back or going towards that center back where he could eventually give even more than as a right winger. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw Gnarby. We can go to Gnarby. Hey guys, we can't we can we can never talk about uh, Arriva Bene. You want to talk about Gnarby, about uh, uh Where is Gnarby? Gnarby. I have 100 Gnarby. Where is Gnarby? Guys, what is the account of Gnarby? I have Dave Gnarby. 
I don't find Ngnarbi from Arsenal. Who can uh, tell me? Who? Who can tell me uh, Gnarbi? Gnabri, Gnabri. I made a mistake, guys. Here he is. Serge. Look at that. Serge Gnar Gnabri. Uh, is it here? Yeah, no, it's not here. I saw it online. I saw it online. Uh, he was wearing the, the cap of Juve. A Juve cap of the palace. The palace one. It's okay. By the way, if you want to speak about uh, Matthias Sule, Sule is going full power. Huh? Full power. Look at that, Matthias Sule. Beautiful. Beautiful left foot for Matthias Sule. Training, training a lot, a lot, really. He's giving his max. Huh? He will be top, top, top. Especially because these young guys... These young guys, uh, they are really quick in coming back in top form. Eh? So, eh, I have a lot of expectation for Matthias Soule this season. Really a lot. Uh, nah, it's true. I, well, I said Arsenal. I mean, a disaster. Yeah, nah, it's the same. Arsenal, Bayern. The same. It's the same. Ciao Saif. What Eva Benny said yesterday was an invitation for other teams to start bidding war. Beautiful business tactic. It's true. It's true. It's correct. 100%. Bernardo has three long. That guy runs a lot. Um, and never get tired. But Cancelo is a must in the left back position. We uh, lack attacking threads on the left side. It's true. At the moment, 53-47. It's a big battle. Huh? 155 votes. Big, big, big battle. Uh, should I say thank you to the people? Did we reach it or not? The uh, We didn't. We didn't reach yet. We didn't reach yet the 18,700. We miss. We miss five. We miss five. Um... Just curious, why did Ferrari sack Arriva Bene? Maybe, you know. Eh, no, I don't really know. I think it was uh, they wanted to change. Uh, the the successes didn't arrive at Ferrari. Some people are saying that he flopped at Ferrari. Some people are saying, no, he didn't flop. It was just a team. The car was not good. They didn't find the ways. Uh, but he brought also great things. So I'm, I am I have never been a Ferrari expert. Now, this, this year... Last year, I started to, to watch uh, some races to, with my son, but I have no idea. I can't really answer on that one. I know that he is part of the CEO of Juve, uh, shareholders. He has some shareholders there, and he was already at some meetings. So he's a Juventino since ever, a real Juventino that is loving the team. So uh, he has a Juventinita, and he was already one, one step in. He knows Agnelli since 15 years. He is really great friend with the family Agnelli. He worked at Philippe Maurice. We know that Philippe Maurice, the links with uh, the Agnelli family. So it's one of uh, of house, uh, of La Maison, of La Maison. He's there and... Uh, yeah. But why he flopped and how he flopped Ferrari, I don't know. I don't know. Um... Toronto, Toronto is in the house with Joao Cancelo, top player. Forza Ferrari, Forza Ducati. Eh, that's a fact. Um, it's a long story. So, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe one day we can explain it. But at the moment, no. And I see that Mo, Mohamed El Shahali, he woke up because now it's starting to put, pay attention. Uh, because there are some news about Kostic. There are some news about Kostic. Want to know the news about Kostic? Let's go. From Di Marzo. I bet Di Marzo is annoying me. Mamma mia, Di Marzo is still all... Di Marzo, mamma mia. The best, huh? In terms of doing his job, now at the moment he has a bit less connections with the world. But we can't say that he, re he changed the world of Mercato. He, he did what Mino Raiola did with the agents. Gianluca Di Marzo did it with Calcio Mercato. But he's annoying me because he's putting me a name that I don't want to see. So he's saying, updates on the Juve wingers. The chances of Kostic are dropping. Hey. Oleg, you're, you said yes, the Kostic, but actually... It's bad news, because according to Di Marzio. Now, Di Marzio, I tell you with all the respect that I have for Gianluca, at the moment, the news that he's receiving for Juve are not really wow, eh? are not really wow. But he's saying that the chances are dropping. The ones of main 
the main targets at the moment are Berardi and Zagnolo that are stable. These are the two news. But I don't want to see Berardi. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. It's always the same with Berardi, Berardi, Berardi. Can you... That would be a crazy, crazy twist. Crazy twist. No, I don't want Berardi. No, let's not exaggerate. I don't want that. I really don't want that. No, 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 no. You can't give me Zagnolo, Di Maria, Pogba, and then you give me sneaky Berardi. I don't want Berardi. To sell the league, Juventus could even accept an offer of 80, 90 million plus bonus. 90 million plus bonus that we accept. 80, I think it's a, it's not enough. Huh? 80. We had the ADP that just renewed on the channel for the fourth consecutive month. Grand ADP. And he's saying likes, likes, likes. A maximum of like. Thank you, ADP. You know that the renewal, I can't pin it. Otherwise, I would love to pin it, but I can't. By the way, let me take my uh, my name. Uh, I don't like when we see my name here in small Y. You know who I am. Um... And we have a donation from Ron Rusitano. What's the bare minimum to let the league go for? Well, uh, actually, Ron, we were already answering the question. So you see, uh, Alfredo Pedulla, that this season, it, I don't like Pedulla, but this season... He's really on top of the news of Juve. He's saying Juventus could even accept 80 million plus uh, bonus or 90 million. That's apparently uh, what uh, you can do. For me, 80 million is not enough. I would say really, uh, really cash money, cash money, the lowest that you can go, it's uh, 90. Because there is an important thing that you, you need to understand. It's... Let's say and make it easy, Juventus cash in 100 million for the Licht. <clears throat> These 100 million are not for Juventus that you have to spend extra on your market. That's not true. People, they think you sell 400, you can spend 100. No. The Licht, really easy. We bought him for 85 million euro. 85 million euro and we gave him a contract of five years so you need to do 85 divided by five how much is that 17 million per year okay 17 million per year the list is already here with us for three years 17 17 17 51 million euro we already bought Paid back 51, because of course you give immediately the money to uh, Ajax, but you already paid back 51 million euros. So in your books, you still need to pay the Licht 34 million euros. That's what you have to pay for him. Still. Grande Tarek. Grande Tarek. 34 in our books. So if you sell him for 100 million... 100 million, which is beautiful, of course. 100 million minus 34, that means that you have 66 million euro profit. And with that profit, of course, you will have to do something. Eh? But let's say you keep, maybe you can spend 60 million for the Mercato. But from 60 million that we are speaking now, about 100 million because you sold the league, that's a difference. If you sell him for 80 million, you have to take away 20 million, so you have a profit of 46. That is great. 46 million euro is great, is important, it's big, big business. But if you sell him for 40, you keep 45 million euro. With 45 million euro, you cannot go for the same players as you can go with 80, 90 million euro. That's important to understand, because otherwise you will start... Yesterday I was listening to some people, they were speaking about, uh, eh, but we sell the league for 120 million, we have 120 million to put on the market. Eh, no, that's easy. That's easy like that. It's not like that. That's not how it works with the football. That is how it works when I give 100 euro to my friend, two months later he gives me 100 euro back and I have a zero operation, I can spend again 100 million. That's not how it works. Huh? It's not how it works. Uh, Beppe, your Di Maria being the mentor to Solitary is coming true. Hey, when did I say that? When did I say that? Guys, immediately, immediately I said that on YouTube. I think uh, from the first voice, I was in, in April, I believe. April, 27 April, if I have a good memory. Immediately I said Di Maria Sule. Di Maria Sule. 
Sule. A lot of people, they said, Sule is the new Dybala. And I said, no, I watched him at under 23. It's not Dybala. He's the new Di Maria. I was not expecting to have the real Di Maria at home. <laughs> Mamma mia. Wait, huh? Because we have to monitor the flies, huh? We have to monitor the flies. Let's see if uh, our guy here answered my question. You remember when I asked him, can you, can you be a bit more precise with what do you mean with hours? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't answer me. I was, I was not expecting it, huh? but it is what it is. Guido, but why would Delict choose Chelsea? Chelsea will not win uh, anything for the next 10 years. Hey, you know that it's, uh, it's a good question. Uh, today, uh, today it's, uh, what am I representing today? Let me check. Ross Production saying, Beb, I love your shirt. It, today I'm representing the Melbourne Club in Australia. We, I love Australia. I'm scared to go there because they have big insects. I'm scared. I'm not, I'm not scared about insects, but when you see the pictures of Australia with the big insects, I'm scared. But I would love to go one day in Australia. But anyway, the Melbourne, Melbourne people, the club of Gianluigi Buffon, they have sent me that one. I'm really proud of uh, representing the Australian people as well. Unfortunately, they are always sleeping and they join a bit later, but we are thinking about them because in the morning they are watching also the replay. Uh, Beppe, can you read the future? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course I can. Of course. Um, you remember when people were talking about David Neres. I saw some people putting thumbnails with David Neres, David Neres. I never spoke about Navi David Neres on the channel. I, didn't, I knew, I knew. I spoke about uh, Di Maria, I spoke about Koulibaly, I spoke, and maybe they will not join Koulibaly. Maybe not, because the rumors are saying that he loves too much the people of Napoli. Ma chi se ne frega, you're speaking about winning trophies. What do you love the people of Napoli? Go to Juve, Koulibaly. If you are listening, if you are watching the channel, come to Juve. Eh, Koulibaly, Koulibaly. So... It's not David Neres. I don't know the name of the guy that's going to Benfica. I, ne I, I never investigated. I didn't care about that news. It was not important. I knew it was not correct. Um, eh, also, also, good one, good one. Um, so, what do we speak, guys? Because now I'm totally lost, huh? <laughs> guys, we have bad news, we have bad news, we have bad news. We have bad news from uh, Sebastiano. He's saying, guys, it's official. Aaron Ramsey is a Juve player again from now on. Eh. Some people go, some people come back. A minute of silence for uh, this. La, 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 la. I need something. Wait, stay with me. Bear with me. Mercado is crazy tonight. La 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 la. I need something, guys. I will show you. I don't know if it will work or not. Wait, let me try something. I need to try something, guys. I know, I said one minute, I need also to brief. Uh, one second, then we will read the message of Mohammed uh, that just joined with a beautiful message. But first, let me try something, something funny. I need to try. Otherwise, I will not sleep today if I don't try. Uh. Let me try one second. You, I will disappear a second, but don't, don't be scared. I will come back. I will come back. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try. Let me try. There is too much now here. We have to go smaller. We have to go bigger. 
Wait, let me let me try things, guys. Wait, be patient. Here, wait, wait, wait. Now we go here. No. No. We have to go here. You hear me? I'm sure you hear me. Filters. Can we do the filters? Edit filters. Blur. Do we have blur? No. Grayscale, flashback, invert. Hey, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. Wait. Transform. Ah, transform. What is this? Edit transform. Uh, degrees, degrees. No, it's not what I need. Mamma mia. Wait, let guys, wait, wait. I will put it here so that you can see me. Let me try something. Wait, so. Hide, group. We don't care about the group. Remove, filters, property. Maybe property here. It's not working at the moment. I have to investigate. We are losing too many time here. I wanted to have the snow effect. Uh, transparency. Oh, people are telling me transparency. Wait. That's what I need to do. Uh, transform. Filter. Let's try. Edit filter transparency. Do we have transparency? Uh, maybe here. I don't know guys. I thought I was I, I thought and found it. Wait. Mask blend this one here. Color. And hey, no, I don't care guys, it's okay. Uh thank you for waiting. I, I wanted to make it really dramatic with actually uh, the snow that was falling but i don't know where it is so it is what it is guys i'm sorry for uh for this thank you for waiting together with me uh let's delete it here we go here we go and let's uh, go back to business thank you to muhammad youssef who said management measures will make and there's three, still 300 people that are watching me trying to do the, the snow. I will never understand you. By the way, you have chosen for Cancelo with 52%. The votes are closed. 52% for Cancelo. Management measures will make sense in three years. Fans want top from now, but big changes take hard choices. We did not just change a team. We changed the full structure. Suffered a bit. Win big tomorrow. Thank you for your donation, Mohammed. And also really an important and really great message because also here, when we are speaking about the financial part, and that's what I want to answer, Mohammed, because of that comment. Arriva Bene said, in July 2023, when we will again show, or June, June, July 23, when we will show again the books, they will not be great. It will be something that a lot of people will again come back with. <gasps> Juventus is in a disaster situation. Juventus has debts and so on and so on. Which is totally normal and calculated. Why? With COVID, we had a lot of losses. 70, 80 million losses from Stadium and Musea. We were not able to exploit Cristiano Ronaldo as we should a lot of losses that at the moment it's looking already better thanks to the capital increase, but we are not yet there. He said, for example, Douglas Costa next year, so in the season that is coming, will still be somewhere in our books. And maybe you will say, ah, but it's not a lot of money, but it's still, we are speaking about million for a player that is not there since already two, three seasons. And we are still paying consequences of mistakes that we did in the past. He said at a certain moment in Italian, uh, non voglio fare nessuna critica, ma bisogna essere realisti. Guys, you see how, how fast I found it in small letters. That means I read it like 10 times today. Yeah? So he's saying, I don't want to criticize, but we have to be realistic. Speaking about mistakes that has been done in the past. How many times did I tell you in the channel we made mistakes and we have to pay the consequences of it? Guys, it is what it is. It is what it is. When you, and hopefully it will never happen, but 
when you do a mistake, guys, a big mistake, let's speak about really huge mistakes, uh, drugs, uh, cri crimes, and so on, and you go to jail, and you have redemption, and you say, I did a mistake, I want to change my life. You receive a second chance, you go out of jail. It's not like this, huh? that you find immediately a job, that you have again a wife, and this, and it's hard. Huh? <laughs> you are paying the consequences of your own mistakes. But pay attention. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Hey guys, no, 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 I'm not joking, I'm not joking. I'm checking your news. Guys, you will be really disappointed. You will be really disappointed, guys. Abby is launching the message Pogba will be announced tomorrow. I saw the message Alla Marotta. You know when I'm doing Alla Marotta it means I'm faking that I'm watching the camera but my eye is falling in the comments. I saw the message. I went to check but... Uh, there is nothing that is reporting me with a source that uh, tomorrow I was believing it, but uh, I was fooled by our friend Tabi. I was fooled. My heart stopped. It stopped. Because according to the, what I knew, it's not tomorrow, according to what I know. Then, I saw the message, and my heart stopped, and I was hearing, Pogba, 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 Pogba. And no. The only news I have for you guys, uh, it's not the same quality of news. I hope that uh, I could find a source, but uh, we were all full, so we have another news, guys. And it's this one. Hey, do we have to do with what we have to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're here. Nothing is working anymore. Eh, cuts. Here. It's not working anymore. It is what it is. Wait, can uh, no. no, it's not working. So the last news we have. Wait, everything went wrong here. Telegram group. Uh, Mar Marcello, Marcello, Kiriko is saying Dragushin doesn't want to go to Genoa. He doesn't want to go. Uh, he is sad. He is a bit uh, disappointed. With all the respect, um, Genoa is not Real Madrid. 
but it's kind of huh? kind of because i saw the words earlier it's not 100 he didn't say he doesn't want to go to genoa that's not true he said we received the offer of genoa at the moment there are some possibilities but we can't say that dragogin 100 will go to genoa or not because with all the respect to genoa that is in second division he said uh it's not that real madrid has called you and that you just go really fast i'm a bit disappointed in the news of uh of Adi. Eh, because I was fooled. You play with my heart. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Adi heard it on the Albania TV. You are forgiven, Albania. Uh, Albania. Al Abi. It's okay. It's okay. But uh, pay attention. The next time you do these things like that, you have to pay attention because then I believe. Then I believe. Uh, and they will never come in the same day. Eh? No, no, no. They are too big. There is a campaign for Di Maria. There is a campaign for Paul Pogba. 300 people there are watching that I'm... Uh, uh, that I'm sad. There is a news in the Telegram group. Let's go to the Telegram group where Mo is checking the source. Mo is telling us. What is telling us, uh, Mo? Mo is saying, uh, Koulibaly, the next days will be really important if not decisive for the renewal with Napoli. Yes, okay, but that doesn't mean that he wants to renew. Uh, the words are written in a really strange way. It doesn't mean that he wants to renew or not. It means that Ramadami will have a meeting with De Laurentiis. We knew about that. They will speak openly. De Laurentiis he proposed 3.5 million. At the moment, the salary of Koulibaly is 6 million. If you give a four year of contract of 5 million, okay. If you give him 3.5, Koulibaly will say, thank you, I love Napoli, I love the people of Napoli, but I'm sorry, I will not remain at Napoli for half of the salary if I am a pioneer and someone that you want to keep at Juve and he will probably look somewhere else there are a lot of stories eh, about uh, Koulibaly the agents that are in London to meet also Chelsea because Chelsea they need two defenders especially if City is now going on the league so they need two center backs will he come to Juve guys today the the feeling is more a no because of the reported news of what I read online is more a no than a yes. Yesterday it was more a yes. Tomorrow it will change. But it's true what uh, was reported here by Pedula that uh, when when will it be? Let me check again on the Telegram group before I forget. Uh, the next days will be important. So in the next few days we will really understand the situation of Koulibaly. Uh, guys, we have to be fast. Huh? Because on Monday we start with uh, the gathering. And then we start already on the 15th of August, so it has to be really fast. Huh? Ciao Del Baggio! Eh, but that's good. When you are busy, it's good. Huh? Aziz is there as well. Kulibali won't join you. Mm, difficult time. Huh? I, 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 I hope. I, I really believe that Juventus tried, and of course it makes totally sense to try. Not even because of the Licht. It was already before the Licht. They tried a bit less convinced than with the Licht. At the departure point, you are going with more conviction. But uh, um, let's see. Let's see. Depends on him. Depends on him. And the other one. Yeah? Uh, Jesus is uh, there. He's in Arsenal now. Uh, we have to be realistic. Huh? But, 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 you never know. You never know. People are telling me, Beppe, this Mercato is crazy. Uh, the live is crazy today. Today is crazy, of course. But you will see it will be like that every single night. Huh? How long are we there? One hour 30. Can we stop? Uh, I didn't even speak about that. You messed up everything immediately with uh, the Maria will fly in the next few hours. There were so many great information. When you have questions, I will ask. I will, uh, guys. A few, a, a few more uh, questions, or uh, or you know, you know enough. Guardiol, good player, huh? good player. We spoke about him yesterday. Uh, some 
Cecilia, so if we don't have the Licht and Koulibaly, who else are we going to buy? That's a good question. Well, uh, the names that are around are Koulibaly, of course, but uh, if we don't get him and we don't have the Licht, uh, we remain with uh, Bonucci, with Rogani and with Gatti and that's not enough that's absolutely not enough so you have to go who are the names potential names you still have the guy from uh, Arsenal because Arthur is starting to be a bit complicated now eh? uh, but you have the guy from Arsenal uh, Gabriel uh, I don't know what uh, Gabriel from Arsenal you have him you have Akanji there are some talks about Kipembe Kipembe that except it is not a big card in FIFA, but when you are playing with uh, Kipembe, is really strong. Probably because they had to put him at the level of the other players of Paris Saint-Germain. They cheated a bit with the card of uh, Kipembe. Kipembe that uh, Paris Saint-Germain is putting on the market for 50 million euro. That's a lot of money. Kipembe, Akanji from Dortmund, Bremer, but Bremer, guys, forget about it. Especially with the last news huh, of Mandragora. Uh... Hey, I didn't even check the the message of ADP10. I don't know if ADP10 is still there or not, but 15 minutes ago uh, he did a donation uh, and I didn't see it because I was probably crying. Uh, and he said, Beppe, the version of the song, of the sad song is really, really great. He, he loves the... Here it is. ADP, if you are still there, write as a message. Or next time I will remember, I will tell you in the life when I see you. But, uh, yeah, it's true. That version was a goat. Goat version. Goat version of uh, the song. So these are the names that are ar around. Eh? Uh, these are the names that are around. Magelaesh. Thank you, Jimmy. It's hard. Eh? And that's why you have to go really fast, huh? Have to be really, really fast with the names. Paredes and Icardi, yes, but these are not center backs. And we are really, ah, he's there, ADP Grande. I, I felt bad. I, I really felt bad. I felt bad. No problem. I didn't want to uh, interrupt the moment. And no, but no, I, I, didn't, I, I, I didn't see it because I was, I don't know what. And then I, I saw in the recap, I have a small recap with the five last lines. Uh, so I was able to see, I said, but I didn't pin ADP. So now, yes, uh, you know how much it's appreciated. Huh? Uh, when are we getting the metal version from uh, Ron? You know that uh, it's, it's funny because today I post the, the ballad, the ballad, the romantic, sad version, the piano version. And uh, some people were asking me the the salsa reggaeton version for South American market. Uh, so that was funny. Di Maria is on his way. Hey, yeah. But uh, Antonio, we, we saw the news earlier. Do you have more specific news or it's the same news that we were speaking about a bit earlier? Ah, it's working again. Meno male. This one. Uh, from... An hour ago, Angel Di Maria will travel to Italy in the next few hours. That was a beautiful one, huh? Beautiful one. Ah, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Mo one of the most... I don't know if Brad Pitt is as beautiful as Di Maria in a Juve shirt. I don't know that. I don't know. According to me, in my books, no. Uh... Yeah, it's true. 194. That would be a pity. That would be a pity if we don't reach a 200 likes. That would be a real pity. Um, you don't know Brad Pitt. He's an actor. <laughs> Pepe, if you had to renew one, who would you choose? Sandra, Ra mamma mia, what a question. Paul, mamma mia, you really want uh, to hear the music again. Eh? Mercato is crazy in the sad version. Eh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. But I think it's a good poll. 
It's, I think it's a good poll. It's a, that's a really great poll. Uh, obliged to renew one. Alexandro or Ramsey? It's a great question. I love that question. I will not answer. Uh, AJ is going full power immediately. Yeah? Sandro. Mamma mia, that's really difficult. It's like you say, okay, you have two kids, a girl and a boy. They are six years old. They are twins. Uh, you have to kill one. What a kind of strange question is that? That's a really strange question. You can't choose. You can't say my daughter or my son. It's impossible. It's the same here. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, Paul, uh, I don't know if uh, some people are voting. Eh? I, they are taking the risks. 88% they go for Alexandro. Mamma mia. 89%. So, okay. This is a really great uh, test. You prefer Sandro than uh, Ramsey. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's, a good, it's a good one. Sandro, at least he's available. It's true. It's true. But uh, what is better if you are going in, if some, if we are building on that, is it better to have a Sandro available that is giving you the decisive assist for Inter to win the Supercoppa or one that is not there? If you are thinking about that, I don't know which is best or bad. I, I don't know. I don't know. Better one that is not there than one that is there and that is doing a reach your reach row passes back passes for inter i don't know um mohammed decided i don't want to vote for them i don't want i really don't want pay them out boof i won't vote for this so nobody wants to vote aman for the better of the worst alexander is a juventino it's true Eh, hey, Paul, mamma mia, you are going with... The, uh, that's a real unpopular opinion, eh? 12% are choosing for Sa uh, Ramsey on 80. So that's 9 people. 9 people on 80, they are going for Ramsey. Imagine how Ramsey would feel if you watch this stream. <laughs> no, Ramsey, Aaron, you know... I, I don't know what to say. Uh, you are a nice, you are a beautiful guy. You're a really nice guy. He's a pret pretty guy, Ramsey. And uh, no, I said that uh, Ramsey is a big regret for me. Um, I was really, really, um, I was scared because I knew about the injuries, but I was moved because of the qualities. You can't deny the guy has top qualities. Something happened. It's a pity. Sometimes you have these pities. Uh, Rad is, <laughs> I'm in glitch mode. Uh, Sandro is available, but also he has some good Juve. Good in, it's true, it's true. Let's remember also the good moments of Alexandro. What is the... Okay, Le, can you give me one good moment, the first good moment that you remember uh, of Alexandro? I have one in mind. Huh? Ciao Ale, ciao Ale GTV. At the beginning, I wanted to vote for Ramsey because Sandro is holding much decisive position. The sooner he's gone, he's better. Uh... <laughs> Einora is saying Paul Enrico the rebel. Hey, today you're uh, ch changing the chat. Uh, but one good memory. I remember one. I remember one. A good one, eh? A really good one. An important one. Eh, home of Juve. He's passed uh, for Mario Mandzukic in the final. It's true. The assist against Sampdoria for Cristiano Ronaldo, that big jump, it's true. Uh, I remember the combo, Alexandro, Quadrado, it was Quadrado, what was the combo? Uh, there was Pogba, I believe, Kedira, Quadrado, the ball went to Alexandro at a certain moment, and then Alexandro cross or did a pass to Zaza. Zaza 88, the goal versus Napoli 1 0 at the 88 uh, minute. That was really great. That was fantastic. That was a beautiful one. I remember some good tackles long time ago. Uh, ciao, Gravos. Sandro time with Pogba, what a player. Uh, that, that was the, the moment I was thinking 15 16. 
when he scored Ronaldo one uh, uh, only free kick. It's true. Uh, that was versus Torino, eh? the one and only free kick. He has the 12. Alexander is with the 12. <laughs> the good memory. It's true that when he sight, hey, pay attention from uh, Porto, was a big signing, eh? Was a big signing, Alexandro. The narrative, the story is saying that he's still walking. Did you see Zaza again after that penalty? I, didn't see, I think he's still walking. Hey, guys, if he's moving like that. Where were they in 2016? I don't remember, but uh, from 2016, where they are, if they have to come in 2022, takes a lot of time, huh? Takes a lot of time. Best moment being linked to Chelsea for 60 minutes. And no, that's not a beautiful uh, moment, Aman, because that is remembering me that we said no. But you know the story, by the way? Do you know the story why we said no? Who knows the story why we said no to Chelsea? It's a real story, I can explain, huh? Uh, ciao Riccardo Rocco I, do you know the story or not about why we said no it's, it was uh, 60 50 50 million 60 million uh, so red one is saying I don't know so I will tell you what happened is actually it's true and the offer was really huge it was in the time of uh, I don't remember what coach maybe Sarri that was at Chelsea or even before <laughs> they really wanted Alexandro and Juventus, they wanted to sell him as well for that price. They said, why not? At the end, they didn't do it because in the same season, Bonucci went to Milan and Dani Alves left for Paris Saint-Germain. So you had actually three-thirds of the defense that was leaving in one, se one summer. And that was too much. Bonucci to uh, Milan, Dani Alves there, and they didn't feel... You know, we were winning, winning. We were even going to Champions League final. So we didn't, we didn't dare to do it. So we said no at the end. Um, pay attention. There is the new page of Tutto Sport. We have to go there. Huh? Uh, Bomba. G just Juve never sleeps. Hey, Matt. Matt, your friend with uh, Fabrizio Romano. Huh? Friend is supporting Tottenham. Uh... You're friends with Fabrizio Romano. You should judge. Who, who is sleeping less? Fabrizio Romano or Beppe? I don't know. Gigi Stuve. Gigi Stuve or Fabrizio Romano? I want a contest. Who's sleeping less between both of them? I don't know. I don't know. But I, he's working. I'm joking. That's the difference between Romano and me. He's working. He's doing professional work. Uh, he's tweeting, here we go. I'm doing, here we fly. You see, there is a difference. Huh? There is a difference between him and me. Uh, ciao, Matt. Ciao, Matt. AJ, because Bonucci and Alve... Eh, he knows. He knows. Uh, AJ is a top, top, top. He knows a lot. Huh? He knows a lot. He says also a lot of strange things, but he knows a lot of human things. Um, assist to Zadza goal was by Evra. It's true. Correction. Correction. Uh, Tutto Sport page. Let's go to Tutto Sport. Can, can we see the first page of Tutto Sport? I already showed you the one of yesterday. Do you remember? So that was. Uh, by the way, if you want to see it, guys, it's a big, big interview. Uh, I have to refresh, of course. Now, uh, when you go out, when it, when it's too long that you are not doing it, you have to refresh. Disaster. So you see, just to show you. That's how it looked like with the double page, and then you have even a third page. Oh, sorry, with uh, with Allegri and his Juve. Then you have a page Di Maria plus Zagnolo Cambiasso. He really wants Juventus, but we have to wait for Dragosin. The guy, the Romanian guy, is about to give us a uh, a bit of a nightmare. So let's go to the front pages, the new front pages of today. Can we find them or not? Probably yes. Because we know that Di Marzio is anticipating everyone on his side. On his side. So let's see. What are the Italian papers saying about our beloved Juventus? Uh, Mamma mia. Guys, every time I want to show you, but there are 100 million of ads. What, Guys, this is not good for the customer experience. This is really a disaster. I don't even know how I can close that thing. Mamma mia, disaster. Go away. Okay, Corriere dello Sport. 
I, you know, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm really serious. I understand that you have to make profit. Of course, you have to make profit. By the way, Alexandra Iwana, of course, you need to make profit. I understand that. It's business. The world is business. You need to live. You need to, to enjoy, of course. But mamma mia, you go on the site, it's a uh, page, page, page. You, you don't know what you close, then you have the music that is going on. It's a disaster. This is not funny, really not funny. I don't like that. Di Marzio, guy, yeah, you have to pay attention now uh, for your... Otherwise, I don't click. So. But Corriere dello Sport... Corriere dello Sport is saying Tutti al diavolo Ah, uh, il club rossonero deve recuperare lo svantaggio su Juve e Marotta So, they are already saying that now Milan, they have to recuperate the field The distance between Juve and Marotta Because according to Corriere dello Sport They are already putting Juve as favorite together with Inter If I'm checking what happened today Uh, at, until today, I saw that Inter they signed Aslani and they son, signed Lukaku. Uh, Juve didn't sign any player at today. Milan didn't sign any player at today. Juve finished fourth. Milan was first. Why are they putting Milan behind Juve and Inter already? We will see. They are already starting slowly, slowly, slowly to put Juventus some pressure. You see, these small sentences, huh? they are important because they are brainwashing. Juventus have everything to lose. No, guys, who is the favorite of Serie A? It's the one that won the Scudetto the year before. Maldini and Massara, they just renew until 2024. Mertens and Dybala in the corner, around the corner. They are free, but they don't find any space. So they are actually saying that Milan could go for Mertens or and Napoli because they are free and nobody is giving them contract. For Mertens, I can understand. He's already 43, but for Dybala, it's strange, huh? Roma, Fratesi, by the way, Fratesi was doing a naked, did you see the, the leaked naked picture of Fratesi? Pay attention, big page, you see, you see, disaster, I want to see Tutto Sport, why are you speaking about the ships? I don't want the ships, I don't want the ships, I want the, the Tutto Sport. Disaster. Gianluca, Tutto Sport, due al posto di delict, two, two, For the lead. Arriveranno un centrale, centrale destro e un sinistro. Se, se l'olandese sarà ceduto. So, we have the answer to a lot of people that were asking during the chat what will happen if the lead leaves. If, he, if, you never know, if he leaves, you have two center backs that will join. One that is playing a bit more on the right side to replace also Bonucci when he will be rotating and one on the left side. From Bremer to Kipembe, from Koulibaly to Gabriel. The plans from the Bianconeri are ready. Beautiful names there, huh? I would love Koulibaly. Priority. Priority Koulibaly. The ship. Uh, the ships. The French uh, ships. The ships. Ships. How do you say, guys? It's ships. No, you don't say ships. I say ships in uh, French. How do you say? But Gabriel is not bad, but it's not. Hey, you see, it's ships. Ships. Chips. Ah, chips with a T. Chips, that's strange. That sounds really strange. There is no T in chips. 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 I say chips. Uh, let's see. Wait. Mini Pola, Mini Pol. How do you pronounce it? I will write it misspelled. Huh? Ships or chips? D. 
the Polish life. That's the most important part of the evening. Chips are chips. Chips are chips. And well, guys, if you are writing me chips, how we write, I know the, how it's written. I don't know how to pronounce it. What are you saying? 69% are saying chips. 31 are saying chips like me. And now, but you know, Labond, when when we are doing, every time when I'm doing a live in the evening, my wife, she says, don't go too much too late in bed. And I said, I target max one hour. And then after that hour, I start to, to go crazy. And then we speak about chips, chips and chips. You know why you say chips, chips? Because you think about the chips and fish. The fish and chip, the fish and ship, mamma mia, disaster. In UK, you say the fish and ships. No, fish and ships. You don't say fish and chips. Ah, maybe yes. Eh, I understood. Because you, you don't understand. You say fish and the end. You finish with a D. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Because you don't know that you are pronouncing the D from end and not the D from chips. Because in chips, there is no D. This is the truth. You were manipulated by these fish and chips. Fish and chips. You see, the D is from end and not from chips. It's normally, you should say fish and chips. There is always an explanation. But a lot of people, they can't find an explanation. And that's my skill. I can find a real explanation why the people in UK, they are wrong since ever. Since when the, the UK was born, they don't even know their main, their main plate, the meal, the main meal that they are, they don't even know how to pronounce. Fish and Chips, not fish and chips. It doesn't even work. Since when do you say a C is a T, guys? We have to move on. But I see Stefan Mohamed, he just subscribed to the channel here. Because he I don't know, Stefan, why are you doing that? We are a Juve channel and we are speaking about the chips and the chips and you subscribe in that moment fish and chips you see fish and chips is not writing fish and chips is fish and chips is by far the worst cuisine nobody can tell me different uh, i would rather have chocolate covered ends than fish and chips what are you saying guys i didn't convince you huh uh, I didn't convince you. I was thinking that you would have changed your vote or... No. 64% of the people, they say it's chips. And you know what? I don't care. I will continue. Ah, uh, here it is. Here he is. Fish and chips are incredible. We have a debate uh, between... Uh, be <laughs> we have a debate here. We have a debate. A big debate. That's an important debate. Huh? Uh, I love that debate. The ones that love the fish and chips and the one that doesn't love the fish and chips. Between Jason and Matt. But hey, Matt is... Uh, no, it's not living in UK, by the way. Yeah, in UK, yes, but not in England. Uh, if I'm not wrong, from uh, is living in Ireland. I can be wrong, huh? but that's what I remember. Ireland. So... But incredible, it's also a double meaning of the word incredible. What is incredible? Is it good, incredibly good, or incredibly good, bad? We don't know. It's like Mercato is crazy. There is this version when we are happy. And there is also this version when we are not happy. Mercato is crazy. Uh, you see, there are two versions. That, because crazy means two things. Guys, now I think it's time to go to bed. Huh? It was incredible. It was great. But now it's go time to go to bed. Uh, what is on the planning tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, we start a new month. Officially Mercato. So we'll try to do some funny things. Guys, 
uh, apparently we will t uh, Di Maria is about to arrive so let's try to follow and track him on the flight would be beautiful uh, uh, tomorrow we do a beautiful day we do a beautiful day guys maximum of like we reached 228 uh, let me check we didn't reach and uh, that's a bit the sad story of today yeah? we didn't reach the uh, the 18,700 I was I have to admit I was thinking that we would have reached them today we didn't we didn't we missed three people to reach the seven, uh, 18,700 like, tomorrow tomorrow is a new day um, Hossar is thinking that we will go live tomorrow hey, you know uh, from the moment up we go live we go live there is one thing you remember I said since the beginning, Di Maria will arrive before Pogba. Hey, look at that. I received a picture. I will show it from uh, our friend uh, Ron. Ron Rusitano. He sent me a message. Wait, let me go. Look at that. That's the, the, <laughs> that's the picture of Ron who's saying Arthur Streachers, fish and ships. I pronounce it well this time. Eh? Fish and ships. Look at that. That's a beautiful way of uh, closing the life. No, I said in the beginning, guys, you can, you are a witness on the channel. I said in the beginning, Di Maria will arrive before Pogba. Di Maria will arrive before Pogba. Di Maria will arrive before Pogba. And maybe I'm wrong, but I believe I'm, I'm correct. I believe I'm true. Uh, so let's say goodbye. Buona notte to Sisman, Red One, Sad, to Massimo Lesti. Uh, thank you again Massimo Lesti for the people that joined he's the one that made the sad piano version of Mercato is Crazy Hossar David Marazzo uh, Jimmy K from Belgium as well Ryan uh, Stavros Jason Cavari Home of Juve Louis Pace hey, that's a long time ago I didn't see the name Louis Pace in the chat ciao Louis Wazi George George Hey, that's difficult, huh? Giorgoso 189. Uh, English people don't know what it is like to eat real food. Eh, no, it's not. UK is great. I love the breakfast in UK. I love UK. I miss. I miss. It's already two years because of COVID. Before that, I was two, every two, three weeks I was in UK. I was in London. Yeah, I miss London. One of my favorite cities in, uh, in London. I know in the in Europe uh, in Europe I was joking uh bon, buona notte a tutti I love you and we see each other tomorrow and hopefully hopefully with finally a player grazie forza Juve